Welcome back to the channel, my people. So this video is about how we buried my late uncle, my dad's younger brother. Yes, he trained my uncle. So hmm, when I was editing this video, it, it brought back something in me. I'm like, death is inevitable. We are Christians. And as much as we are Christians, we, we should search within ourselves and I don't know how to say it in English, but are we living right? Are we abiding by the rules and regulation of Christ? Are we abiding by the commandments of God? Hmm. You see, this uncle of mine, eh? he was he was a, an elder in our church. Yeah, he was a church elder. And most of my subscribers know that I was born into the church of Pentecost. I am a Pentecostal girl, yeah. So my my mom gave birth to me in the Church of Pentecost. So in the Church of Pentecost, when a member dies, if you die in Christ, we we don't we don't cry as much as those who die in the world because we know that you have led a good life in Christ. So with this uncle of mine, eh, he was a true Christian. When I say an example of true Christianity, he was a good Christian. I remember when we were growing up, when we were kids, when we, when we, whenever, I, whenever we meet him in church, he would share the word of God with, with us. He would advise us. He gave birth to four boys. He gave birth to four beautiful boys. He got married in, in the church of Pentecost with his wife. He wedded his wife in the church of Pentecost. My people, when I tell you a true man of God, that is my uncle, my late uncle. When I heard of his death, I was so sad because he died. He died at a young age. 61 is so young to die. So I, I remember the last time I, I saw him when he came for prayers in church. He was getting better. He fell ill, but he was getting better. So I thought he was getting better. All of a sudden, we heard that he had passed away. I'm like, you see someone today, the following day you 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 receive a call and they will tell you the person is no more. It's no more. And I'm like, hey, so what if you led 
an immoral life or you led a bad life when you were alive. You don't know when you will die, when your creator will call you. So you, 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 where will your soul end up? I was, when I was editing this video, I was reminiscing. I was like, oh God, I was searching within myself. I'm like, Lord, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Help us to, to stand firm in you. Help us to live upright in you because death can occur anytime. Today, you meet someone. Tomorrow, they will tell you the person is no more. How are you living your life? Are you living at peace with each other? Are you backbiting? Are you like never we breathe? Sometimes we do evil things. We don't know we are doing it. We should really change from our, our evil ways. This particular uncle of mine dedicated his life to God. He served God in spirit and in truth. He 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 didn't have much, but he dedicated his whole life to God. So in Pentecost, in the Church of Pentecost, as Christians, when you live a good life, when you dedicate your life to God and you die, we don't usually cry as much because we know where your soul is headed. Yes, we know where your soul is headed. He 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 led a very good life. There is no church meeting you will not find him there he sacrificed his life for the church and he made sure he trained his children in the godly way his four boys are living good lives godly lives oh my people my people we should live we should live a righteous life it's not easy to live righteous but hmm, let's try let's really try because you don't know where your soul will be when you go i just want to take you through how how christians bury the dead we we we, we don't bury the dead like the worldly people no so with the church of Pentecost, this is how we buried our dead we bury with joy in our hearts knowing that his or his soul is at peace wherever he is yes because he has led a very good life this is a wake-up call to us christians what kind of life are you living charlie any is your minion it's not easy but let's try one of my innermost prayer is god should give us a life worth emulating as christians i want people to look at my life and see christ let's be the light of the world I be you know, I be bab, I be you understand me. Uh huh. And you know, being a Christian in that form, but it's, we, we should live a life worth emulating. Be you are you, be she are she. But rubo joenye, let us know your stand as a Christian. Eh? Are you a church goer or are you a Christian? Uji na he. Ma ye hu, ma ma ye hu bobre. Keep watching my people. <laughs> So it was time for the family, we the family, to go and bid our uncle farewell. You know, people were going to 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 bid him farewell, or look at his corpse and bid him. But I couldn't go. So that's my uncle, Elder Stephen. Oh, so hmm. so I couldn't go. One thing about me is I can't look at the dead again. In as much as I'm a nurse, you know, when when we 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 dress the dead, I can't look at. A corpse again so i couldn't go and see him but i was feeling sad within me so uh, the family you know bid him farewell and <laughs> charlie i just want you to see how 
Christians, as the Church of Pentecost, we bury our dead. Very simple, very unique. You know, we want to sh we show respect, the total respect. When His glory is revealed, First Peter four thirteen. Stephen Osei Asante was born on 9th January 1963 to the late Stephen Kwame Asante and late Salome Efua at Asakraka. He was the 27th born of his father and the last born of his mother's four children. He started schooling at Donkokuru where he stayed with his mother and later moved to Asakraka where he lost his mother.
this video my people how do you feel what do you say about your life now one day we all will die it is inevitable let's live right let's love each other okay, okay. bye